Xin chào hôm nay chúng tôi lái xe gần 2 tiếng đồng hồ để đến Phòng Eri và đây là một cái hồi xe tăng thì bắt control và chúng tôi gặp Ian Hello Ian Hello, how are you? Very good Nice to meet you Well, today uh, you have uh, the battle, right? Yeah, we have a tank battle here out here All 116 uh, scale RC tanks I see on uh, your Facebook, you know, uh, you said uh, every two months but I think it's, it's, every, only... it's every month Once every a month? month? Yeah, oh, okay. once a month So, uh, how often do you have here? Or do you have another place too? No, we do it here all summertime. We every month during the summer, right up October. Usually, it's a little too cold in November, so indoors in the winter time. Uh, we have another one of our members, and he, uh, he we get a hall to do indoors in the winter time. So we go all year round. Where the hall? Uh, that's in Kitchener. Kitchener. Yeah. So oh. just to give us a break, because we do all the organizing out here in the summertime. So uh, when it comes down to Windsor, he gets to do all winter, and uh, I mean Kitchener, we get to go out there all winter time. So. But there's people here from the club that come from uh, Windsor, uh, from Barrie, yeah. Hamilton, Mississauga, Toronto. They come all from all over uh, southern Ontario. So how many members do you have? Uh, I would say it fluctuates probably around 20 or 30. It's, it's not a huge club. It's, it's, um, it's a really small, not a lot of people know about these tanks. Uh, but generally people who find out about the tanks, get involved with the tanks, they, have, they end up owning quite a few of them. So. You know, usually the Vietnamese community in Toronto, every year they have a New Year festival, right? Oh yeah? They have it in the International Airport. Mm -hmm. uh, over 10,000 people coming. <laughs> and this year, this year like, I, I like to set up uh, one area, you know, to, to, to show the tent. We'd actually would, do... Would you come in? Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. We, uh, we set up one, we went to Oshawa this summer and we were invited by, they had a... Um, uh, like a tank day open house up there and we went up and set up there and we've gone down to Windsor and we've set up in Windsor uh, yeah. and uh, we've done down there for people so uh, and we'll probably be going down to Hamilton next year at the uh, the museum down there they want us to set something up down there for a battle and the kids love it the parents love it it's it's a great time yeah it uh, we have a festival new year festival in uh, the end of January and we're inside mm -hmm. so yeah definitely if, inside if you, if you go there you go there what 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 need to uh, set up I, I, I plan just... some have some dirt, you know. Yeah. Collect the dirt now. Yeah. Save it, and then in the winter we put uh, on the on the ground eh? on yeah. the concrete. Eh? Dry enough? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. It's yeah. uh, you just needs a bit of space, of course. That's usually the biggest thing because the tanks are, as you can see, they're fairly big in size. So you, you need a bit of a space to move them around. But it yeah. doesn't have to be too big. But yeah. certainly um, we usually set them up, and you know we bring one or two things that the the kids can have a look at and let them play around with one that's not so expensive so okay but uh, sure yeah it's uh, absolutely mm -hmm. so uh, I do contact you you can contact me mm -hmm. through Facebook or I'll give you a card today you can yeah. reach us at or uh, um, or on our website you can yeah, get okay. on our website yeah, or on our forums we have a very active you. forums yeah. Yeah, sure. I can uh, talk to the organizers the New Year Festival mm -hmm. and then uh, we set it up absolutely no yeah. problem we'd yeah. love to do that yeah. okay so uh, all the tent here I see, you know, uh, mostly from uh, Second World War, right? Most of the tanks are here for, from the Second World War, and there's some from Korean War. You'll see the, uh, there's an M41 Bulldog down there, and that's from the Korean War type thing. But most of them are World War II. No, so. that's Vietnam War. Vietnam War, sorry, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Vietnam and mm -hmm. Korean is uh, only human under yeah. the Yuda. And then uh, the Pershing was a little bit late World War II, and then we have uh, the Abrams over there. And, uh, we have, even have a Chinese tank here, which is very cool. That's a custom-built one-of-a-kind. I see that they have equipment for electronic battle, right? Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. um, how, how to install that? This would be the, that'd be the receiver. Oh, the receiver. So that would go that put the, it on? That goes on the top here. And, and, it, can, and it connect to inside the tank? Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, you see that all of these have mounts, see? And this is, it takes uh, hits through these fins, and this, when, it, when they hit a tank, these lights light up. So they have a wire to, yeah. to plug in there? Yep, it goes into a four pin. Usually they go into the top of these, some of these have them, some don't. Let's see, that one does not. This one should. I don't know where he's got it hidden, but I know he has it in this one. Yeah, yeah it's in there. Yeah, where's your setup for this one, Jordan? All right, so that would, uh, that comes off, and then that goes in there like that. Oh, okay. So, 
And I said these light up when it's been hit, and every time that the tank gets hit, it gets a little bit slower and a little bit slower. And 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 eventually, all the lights start flashing the tanks down. Oh, okay. So depending on the size of the tank, meaning uh, you have light tanks, medium tanks, and heavy tanks. Okay. The heavy tanks take a lot more hits to kill than what do the mediums or the light tanks. But uh, none of these tanks shoot BBs. Uh, we don't have that. And they do make these tanks to shoot BBs, but we don't uh, we don't use that at all. It's all infrared. Yes, I saw those. They're very nice. I see that. I see that. Very nice. Very nice. I saw you bring it home.
Yeah, this is pumped right off. Um, actually, yeah, uh, you can use, uh, I will throw the, you get to it? Yeah, you gotta find the right one. <laughs> So what, 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 which hand is it yours? Which hand is it yours? That one. That one? These guys here in the, box, yeah. in the boxes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What's that? So you have many, eh? Uh, about a dozen. Yeah. Yeah. Usually how much yeah. for each hand costs? Uh, well, we start off like that one. Start off with $200 and then you change it and change it and change it. Yeah. Now it's probably $800 yeah. for, for that one. You send the motor, then we send Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's like cash. this one here, you know. You, I'm losing my mind. Well, it's normal, but yeah, there's, there's a like this is a Tamiya. Yeah, Tamiya. Beautiful, beautiful. Tamiya, yeah. especially already. Yeah. Well, no, number? no. We, <clears throat> we, he built this. One. Uh -huh. He built this one. Uh -huh. Did all the coloring and detail, but a Tamiya, it lasts. First, you know, it's a solid. Yeah. Uh, this is um, Tegan. It's, it's metal, metal tracks, nice and solid. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Goes I fast. And then we yeah, have, because it's a tank destroyer, yeah. no turret, okay. you can shield the front. You can stop no hits from the front, mm -hmm. but always yeah. from the side. Mm -hmm. yeah. so that's, that's kind of a different mm -hmm. tank out here. Uh, we have uh, custom made ones like this. Yeah. It's too bad I didn't bring my uh, late one. M3. Yeah. No one else has nice. One. Beautiful. Beautiful. That's Beautiful. That's Beautiful. What do you mean to build? Uh, uh, that? Uh, Tamiya. Yeah. Tamiya. Oh, yeah. Tamiya. Oh, you, you have a lot of Tamiya, very expensive. Very expensive. Yeah. Yes. I like the uh, Leopard, but it costs 1800 dollars Yeah. Uh, well, that tank, I know it. that's yeah. actually my wife's. I know it. That's my uh, wife's probably, tank. Probably she's not here today. Uh, so like she says that. I can drive it. Uh, <laughs> it doesn't have to be. Your wife likes too. <laughs> she likes, yeah, she, a little bit. Not as much as guys, you know. Yeah. Men don't, but, I mean, uh, women don't usually come out. But she has a tank. She drives it, and she's getting pretty good. Oh, you know, sometimes the, the other guys are scared a little bit. Uh, but it's a lot of fun. It's like a big chess game, you know. My sister, who's a, a peace you know, don't kill, uh, don't fight. You should uh, I don't know, save save whales or something. I said, look. You know, tracks and wheels, and then he just puts them all together and builds it up. Plastic, but you you paint it, eh? Plastic, because the field. Yeah. You want plastic on the field. It's easy, easier to drive. Tomato, right? Tomato? Take it. Take it. Well, heavier. Yeah. Still heavy. Yeah. And, and metal tracks too, but this one's not so bad because they're skinny. Up to 10 on this one, you can do 10. Uh, if the helicopter is right. <laughs> yeah, you can do that too, helicopter. Yeah. Oh, uh, I think we found uh, it. Like, people on the forum, they wrote because they're yeah, concerned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
me! thưa quý vị khán giả sau một ngày của cái chiến đấu thì đây là cái người có như là đoạt cái giải cuối cùng của Battle Ten Today là Ed 